Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This is a concise, well-crafted summary and it highlights only the important keywords. TNM staging of the lung cancer. So TNM staging is used to determine the extent of the lung cancer, including the tumor size that is uh, represented with the T and the lymph node represented with M and M for the metastasis. So T1A. So T1A stands for the tumor size up to one centimeter and also the tumor size from uh, greater than one to two, one, one centimeter, it will be the one B. So one B means it is about uh, one to two centimeters. Then when it is one C, one C stands for, it is being uh, greater than, greater than uh, two to three centimeters. Next is T2. So what is T2? T2 is a tumor size that is uh, greater than uh, three to five. So greater than three to five. And with the subdivisions, that is T2A is uh, greater than 3 to 4 centimeters. T2A is uh, greater than uh, 3 to 4 centimeters. And T2B is greater than uh, 4 to 5 centimeters. Next is uh, if any of the following or T2 if any of the following. That is involvement of a main bronchus without the carcino, carcina, carina involvement without the carina involvement. Next will be involvement of the viscera pleura visceral pleura next is associated with the atelectasis atelectasis or obstruction pneumonitis obstruction pneumonitis and tumor size which is uh, greater than greater than the 5 to 7 centimeters 5 to 7 you know, centimeters with the direct invasion of the parietal pleura so parietal pleura involvement next is the chest wall also the phrenic nerve involvement and also the parietal pericardium it may include a separate tumor nodule or in the same lobe. The T4 means the size is greater than 7. So greater than 7 is T4. And the T4, it can invade any of the following. That is uh, with invasion of the trachea, the heart, the esophagus, the vertebral body. Also the carina, the recurrent laryngeal nerve, the great vessels, diaphragm, the mediastinum and may include the separate tumors, nodules in different ipsilateral lobes and then comes n1 n1 is the metastasis in the ipsilateral peribronchial and the hilar lymph node next is also the intrapulmonary nodes two is the metastasis in the ipsilateral mediastinum and also the subcarinal lymph nodes then comes the n3 n3 stands for the metastasis and then there is a contralateral mediastinal the contralateral hilar and there is also the ipsilateral, contralateral scalene and the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Then comes 1MA. M1A is the represents the thoracic metastasis. It includes a separate uh, tumor nodes. And this is in the co contralateral lobe and tumor with the pleural and thor pericardial nodules and malignant pleura or the pericardial effusion. Next is the M1B. So M1B is nothing but a single extra thoracic metastasis, single extra thoracic metastasis and uh, in a single of the multiple organs or multiple organs. So M1C means multiple extra thoracic metastasis in a single or there is a multiple extra thoracic. So multiple extra thoracic metastasis in a single or multiple organs. Next is treatment. So treatment is in case of stage 1A and B. So here in 1 A and B, what is done? So it is a surgical resection with the primary treatment. And even in 2 A and B, it's a surgical resection. Stage 3 A and uh, minimal invasion of uh, minimal end to involvement. There's a new adjuvant chemotherapy. And it is followed by the surgery with a complete media stinal, media stinal lymph node dissection. So patients with end to involvement, there's a past uh, operative radiotherapy is considered as a part of the treatment plan. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.